Hi everyone, this is Mike at Brash Monkey, and this quick tip tutorial is going to cover triggers, or what I like to call event triggers, because triggers let us designate the exact moment that something should happen within the game engine, and in this case, the exact moment that a bullet should be spawned. So all I need to do to create an event trigger for this is to find the exact moment in the timeline I want the bullet to appear, like here for example, and then I can right click anywhere in the names of all the different timelines here and choose up at the top append event at time. So it's going to place this event exactly where I scrubbed to on the timeline. So I'm going to call this fire gun. When I click OK, you'll see that it added into the near the bottom of the timeline above metadata it created a timeline specifically for this event trigger. And as you can see, I had previously added a point to the animation that would designate exactly where the bullet should spawn from and what angle it should be uh, facing when it spawned. But uh, don't, let, uh, don't let triggers be limited to simply spawning bullets. I mean, imagine, for example, a sophisticated animation of a wizard character casting a spell. You could have one point in the animation uh, trigger, for example, lighting effects that affect the entire screen. You could have another point in the animation that has a trigger that starts shaking the entire screen as though it's almost creating a small earthquake. Later on it could spawn particles and maybe at some point there would be a trigger that would uh, make every enemy on screen uh, fall to the ground or something like that uh, or go flying uh, the possibilities are endless and that's it for this quick tip tutorial thanks a lot for watching